Okay, so let's open up Photoshop and get started. I'm going to come down here to my dock and just click on the Photoshop icon and it's going to start off with this uh, interface. And so basically what this is doing is it's giving me access to the recent files that have been opened inside Photoshop and then over here you can see I've got the chance to start a new file or open an existing file, uh, maybe one that isn't listed here uh, among the recent files. I'm going to go ahead and start with a new file just for our purposes today. And then the parameters pop up for that new file. I'm going to uh, go ahead and call this uh, training example. And underneath document type, we can make a choice in terms of uh, what type of file we want this to, uh, to be. I'm just going to uh, keep it with custom for now. And then you can see the width and the height. Uh, this is listed in terms of pixels. And I can change this to different measurement systems if I wish. And then you can see there's an option for resolution and how many pixels per inch are we uh, dealing with. Usually uh, when we're working with screens, uh, we work with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Um, but this width and height in terms of the pixels is what you really want to pay attention to in terms of deciding whether or not the file is usable for your purposes. And we'll talk more about that later. We also have the color mode here. Uh, the color mode that we're going to work with uh, for our screen uh, images are RGB. RGB stands for red, green, and blue. You can see there are other options, uh, CMYK, uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And then bitmap, grayscale, and lab color, which are things that we really won't have to worry too much about. The bit information over here is how much information is contained for each pixel. Uh, the higher the bit uh, number, the more color possibilities there are for each pixel, and then uh, in turn, the larger the image will be. And we'll talk more about that as we go through. Background content, we're just going to go with white, and then we'll click OK. My file opens up and you can see that I have this white image uh, that is in the middle of my work area here. And if I look at the tab over here, you can see the training example, that's the name of the file. Uh, you can see it's at 100%, uh, which means that this is the actual viewing size of the pixel dimensions as I've worked with. And then we've got RGB, uh, this is the color profile, and then 16, which is the bit depth. So that's essentially how you create a new image inside Photoshop.